April, also known as Rustic Fields on Instagram. Um, I want to welcome you to another home tour. Um, this time my house is decorated for spring with a little bit of bunnies in there for Easter as well. So we'll get started in the front room, which is where I like to start my tours at. So if you come right over here, um, let's see, I have my chair that I got from Home Goods. It's a magnolia. It was an awesome find. And then a little Ray Dunn Happy Easter pillow, which I thought was so cute. And then this is a hearth and hand pillow from Target. And then back over here, I just love this scroll that I got. It's from Cottonwood Shanty and I bought it online. She makes awesome scrolls with all different sayings on them. And I just love this one. It says, let's stay home. And then over here, um, this lamp um, is from Ikea. And it's actually not very expensive, but it's very dramatic for this area. And I like the way that it looks kind of industrial, farmhouse-y. So over here, we'll go to my hutch. I always talk about this as being one of my favorite places to decorate. Um, up here on the top, I have a little bit of Ray Dunn from TJ Maxx. And then this little um, planter thing here is also from TJ Maxx. And then a little magnolia basket and then just some faux greenery on the sides these are from um, Ballard designs online and they're super realistic looking so i love having those up there um, and then you'll notice a few little bee skeps in here and i actually made those myself um just bought a little bit of rope from um let's see fleet farm it was and glued it together cut the little hole and i thought they turned out so cute and they're also so fun to make um, and then up here, this thing is from Queen Bee Home. And then these um, faux tulips here, they're very realistic. Those are from Magnolia Market. And then these ones, which look very, very similar to those, actually got these on Amazon. And there was like 30 for like $15. So that was a really good find. Um, over here are these little canisters. These are from um, Make Pie. And down here, I just kind of have a little faux greenery and a little basket, a little wire basket. Um, this is from Charming Willows. Super cute little windmill sign. And then an antique scale. And then down here, um, I found these adorable little corbels at, um, you'd never guess it, but at one of my favorite places to eat, actually, the Cracker Barrel. And they were only like 20 bucks for this set, so I thought that was a great deal. And they're actually pretty heavy and nice. Um, and then this is from Antique Farmhouse, and then the little Ray Dunn stones in there, which I thought were really cute to go inside of there. All right, and over here I have my Mora Clock, which is one of my favorite things. I actually got this at Target, believe it or not, Target Online and they were having a sale on it, plus um, there was like a coupon code, so it was a really good deal. Anyhow, coming over here to my couch, um, I changed out my pillows for spring. Again, I just love neutrals. I'm like a neutral loving gal, so um, I have my big white ones here from, it's either TJ Maxx or Home Goods. And then these are new. I just got these at TJ Maxx, and I love that they have the little ties on the side. Um, I think it gives them a little farmhouse character. And I just love the extra little touch. And then the little hello pillow. And then my little bunny. I think these are so cute. I have some of these in my other rooms too. But so cute to throw in a little Easter touch there. All right, coming over here. Um, my stand here from TJ Maxx. And then this sign is also from Queen Bee Home. Um, the same, oh, whoa, we got a tippy sign here. Oh, gotta be careful with that. All right, anyhow, this here is from Queen Bee Home, and it's the same um, person who actually made, oh, follow me over here, this one right here, same person made both of these, so um, she does a great job, I love her signs. All right, come back over. Anyways, this chalkboard is from Hobby Lobby, and then this little faux lamb's ear is also from Hobby Lobby, and then this right here, um, Ray Dunn from TJ Maxx, and then this little bouquet here of tulips. That's from Magnolia again. Baskets, TJ Maxx. Pillows, TJ Maxx as well. And then um, this here, I don't think I've ever really talked about this, but this was actually from a garage sale, and it was like a really light blonde colored wood. And I loved the shape of it, but didn't love the color. So me and my husband worked on this project together, and we really sanded the top down, 
and stained it, and then I chalk painted the bottom white. We put on some new little handles, and I think it turned out so cute. And then this is like a little magnolia tray here. Um, it's a hearth and hand one from Target. And then little Ray Dunn birdhouse, um, some cute little birds from the Target Dollar Set, and then this is like a little antique tray of some sort. And then again, I have my favorite kind of candles. This one is from Bath and Body Works and it's Hot Fudge Sunday, and it is so good. Um, somebody recommended this to me and I went out and got it and oh my gosh, I'm in love with that scent. So, and I love that it's white because it matches everything in here. All right, now we're in my dining room. Um, it's kind of like the formal dining room. Um, we don't use this one as often as our Eden dining room in the other room, but I love to decorate this space. Um, this is our table here, and this is from Ashley Furniture. Um, I have the little runner here from TJ Maxx. I love that it's kind of like a little woven macrame one. Um, this is an old antique toolbox that I chalk painted and kind of distressed. Put some old rolling pins in there, a little greenery, um, a few little odd things I found around, and a little towel. I thought it was pretty cute like that. And then over here, my little shelves, my three-tiered shelves that I have. This is from Decor Steels. Um, Sometimes they have some really awesome things on their steel website where it's good for only just like a day. Um, but this was a great find. And I have a variety of different things. So those have some Ray Dunn stuff, some little birdhouses, um, a little Easter canister up there. Um, this is from um, TJ Maxx Magnolia Home. Um, a little seltzer bottle. Um, this is kind of like a little antique tray that I have up there. Another couple little bee skeps, or some people call them beehives, and I made those also. Um, I did two little different styles, different thicknesses of rope. Um, have some antique books, and then this little guy here is from the Target Dollar Spot. I think it was only like three dollars. And then um, this little rolling pin thing with the hooks that's from Decor Steels also. Um, and then a little greenery kind of thrown in there as well. All right, let's head to the Eden. All right, so this is our little um, Eden dining area, and this is my little two-tier tray that I like to keep kind of in the corner over here. Um, so fun to decorate. I got some little faux greenery in here. I think this is from Ikea. This is Hearth and Hand from Target. This adorable little bunny, he's from TJ Maxx. And then I love these little alarm clocks. I found this at TJ Maxx also, and it's kind of vintage-y looking, but super cute. Um, the little honey container, and that's from Target, hearth in hand, and then another little bee skip that I made. You can tell I just love bee skips right now, totally into them. Um, then over here, this is a little um, Target dollar spot um, item, and then a little bit of greenery, and that is from Ikea. So then here's our, our dining table. Kept it pretty simple. Um, just have a little tray that I got at Target, and then an old crock with some, with some full greenery in there. Um, I think that's from TJ Maxx as well. All right, welcome to the living room. Um, over here is our fireplace. Um, the mantel, my probably second most favorite place to decorate. Um, up here I have a fresh cut flower sign and I got that from Painted Fox. And then this is from Antique Farmhouse and they're both kind of like um, metal signs. I love how they look antiqued and kind of rustic. And then we have a little bit of full greenery. That's from um, Hearth and Hand at Target. Um, this is TJ Maxx. This is TJ Maxx. Um, Ray Dunn. And then this, I think, is another little bouquet here that I found um, on Magnolia Market's website. And these are actually like some antique, um, some sort of a, they're a tulip crate or something. That's what I was told when I bought them. So I bought kind of a pair. They're not identical, but I think it gives it a lot of character up there. And then over here, um, my baskets are from Target. I have kind of like a little ruffly blanket here. Um, this pillow is from Linen and Ivory. She makes beautiful pillow covers. And then another one of those cute little bunny pillows from TJ Maxx. So cute. And then over here, I have um, two bird houses I have. And this one is from Amazon. My husband splurged and got me this one. I absolutely love it. And this one is another unexpected find from the Cracker Barrel. 
Who would have known they had such cute decor there? Anyhow, so um, kind of just stacked them up next to each other. And then I just got a little basket with some wood here for our wood burning fireplace. Then back along this wall here, this is my little puppy dog, Mocha. He loves being in the videos. He thinks it's kind of a little superstar down here. Uh, but this is our, our couch and then a few couple pillows I got at TJ Maxx. Um, love the little stripes and the buttons. Up here, these um, are from Magnolia, the lamb's ears from Hobby Lobby. Um, this is the Magnolia. They're, um, I think it's called the Signature Wreath. Um, and then, let's see, I'm trying to think. This is from Pine and Birch. She makes the cutest little hanging signs. The lamp here is from Target. All right, so these chairs are a bargain. We used to have um, a little um, love seat here, and we switched it out for these two chairs. They're actually from Walmart. They're Better Homes and Gardens, and they are recliners, believe it or not. I've read lots of reviews online. They were so good, and me and my husband just love them. They're so comfy. Um, now here, I just kind of put two of those little pillows from TJ Maxx, one with bunnies, one with little duckies for Easter and spring. My girls love to look at those little cute pillows. And then over here I have a stand from TJ Maxx. Um, this spot, I kind of like to keep it pretty much the same. Um, it's one of those spots in my house that I just kind of keep status quo for the whole year. I just love the stuff on here and I don't switch this spot up too much. Um, but this is from House on 77th. I'm not sure if she's still making signs or not. Um, lamp from Target, some antique books, some hearth and hand, little wood houses, and this little candle warmers from Target as well. Um, this is from a local antique store. Little Ray Dunn, a little faux greenery. All right, this is our entryway wall. A um, little ship black we put up. My husband helped me with that. Uh, we put some little hooks up here. These are from Hobby Lobby. And then um, home is my happy place, which it truly is. And that's from Charlie and Ella. She makes some beautiful signs. Up here we have a little shelf that me and my husband kind of DIY'd and made together. Um, some faux greenery up there. I got so much faux greenery in this house. Anyways, I love the pops of green though, like the muted green. Um, those are a variety from, I think, TJ Maxx Marshalls, kind of a mix. And then my little church pew here, which believe it or not, is from Ashley Furniture. Um, pillow from TJ Maxx. And this one is um, another one from Linen and Ivory. So I love the little magnolia wreath on there. This little guy here was a garage sale find. Found it for like five bucks and I love it. And it's just so, such a cute little topiary. Metal baskets from Marshalls. And then if we turn this way over here, um, this here is from Hobby Lobby with all the little hooks. They're kind of fun to decorate for different seasons. They have a little hanging plant from um, Target in there. And then a little basket. This is from Target as well. Some lambs here from Hobby Lobby. And then these are those realistic looking tulips from Amazon. The deal where I got the 30 for 15 bucks. So they look really nice for that price. Um, up here, this is from Magnolia, um, Magnolia Market website, and then you'll notice this little guy down here. This is a new addition. I just picked up this little guy this weekend at an, at an antique store, and this is going to be my next little project. I'm going to kind of chalk paint it. I'm going to switch out the hardware on here and put some, um, some rustic kind of antique looking hardware. So you have to stay tuned for that project. I'm pretty excited to get it started. Thank you so much for following along with me on my spring home tour. I had lots of fun decorating for spring. It always makes me kind of happy to decorate for spring when all that snow is melted. Um, bringing out the flowers and everything. So um, if you are interested though in one of my little bee scouts or beehives, I've sold a couple of those, so just let me know. Otherwise, have a wonderful spring season. Thank you.